glory, precious Lamb, heaven's bridegroom, my dearest one, Son of God, Son of Man, my beloved friend, my heart is on. Lift your voices. Yeah, that's it. Keep, keep, keep going. Keep going.
sing that again, every voice. Blessed be the name. Blessed. 
every voice, every voice, holy. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The elders and angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. 
Till the storm was built for good, for the land that conquered death. And the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in awe for the souls of all who'd come to the Father are restored. In the morning that you rose, all of heaven held its breath. The storm was moved for good, for the land that conquered death. And the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in awe. For the souls of all who come to the Father are restored. Then the morning that you rose, all of heaven held his breath. To the storm. For good, for the land that conquered death, and the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in awe. For the souls of all who come to the Father are restored. Can we just sing in the spirit for about th two or three minutes? Come on. Lift your voice. Sing in the spirit. Singing, keep singing, keep singing, keep singing, keep singing. Keep singing. Oh, get lost, sing in the spirit. Blessing the Lord. We love you, Lord. The Lord's leading us somewhere. It's going to be very powerful. I thank you, Lord, for what you're saying. I'm telling you right now, if you're under the age of 18, you better get ready. Everyone better get ready. But God has something very special tonight. Aaron. Let's just close our eyes and worship for a moment.
you guys sitting right here, would you just move to the side a little? Yeah, just you get young guys up front. Chris, oh, for the last 20 minutes I've been seeing your face. In my heart and my spirit. Babe, Haley, Jean-Luc, would you put your hands on Chris? Oh, Father. This is a watermark moment. Lord, thank you for a heart that's been waiting and crying out and yearning for years for a fresh encounter. Stretch your hands, church. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Such, such moments move nations. Sing in the Spirit behind me. Choir, sing in the Holy Ghost. Sing in the Holy Ghost. Sing in the Holy Ghost. Yeah, y'all get down. Get down there. Get your hands on it. Haley, Jess, get down there. Young people, you just stretch your hands. Stretch your hands towards him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let the power of the Holy Ghost come upon Chris right now. And give him thousands and thousands of young souls. Young people, Lord, young people middle schoolers and high schoolers and elementary school kids father let your glory fall upon him now in Jesus mighty name oh you've been waiting Chris you've been waiting you've been waiting you've been waiting you will not dwell in a weary dry land you will not you'll walk by the river but you're a man of the river and you'll walk by the river and you'll drink from the river, Chris. Blessed Lord, let the well of the Holy Ghost erupt within him tonight. Young people, you pray, you pray. You're sowing into, into your generation while you pray for him. The fire of God come on him tonight. Fire of God, come on tonight. Man of God, that's exactly what you are. That's exactly what you are. Man of God. Awaken his heart, Lord. Awaken his heart to those old memories in your presence. Those old memories in your presence, those old ones. Do greater now, I pray. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Clothe him in your glory. Everything changes tonight. Everything, everything. Winter is gone. Spring has come. Oh, and I hear the voice. I hear the voice of the turtle dove, the voice of the Spirit singing. Man of God. Man of God. Man of God. Man of God.
Stop everything for one hungry man. One hungry man. We're in his presence now. Jesse, come here, babe. And I know that your eyes Fill this generation with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Touch them. As he touched me here at this altar as a little boy. Fill them. Fill them. And I know that your voice sounds like mine. Jesus, you're beautiful. Ryan, I know that your eyes are like rings of fire. I know that your eyes are Don't let her go to that one. Sing that again. I know that your eyes are
Jesus, we thank you for these young people, this precious Father. Precious Father, fill them with the Holy Ghost. It sounds like water. Jesus, you're beautiful. I know that your eyes are like flames of fire. I know that your hair is white as wool. I know that your voice sounds like water. Jesus, you're beautiful. I know that your eyes are like flames of fire. I know that your hair is white as wool. Stay close to me, buddy. Ryan's just staying near me. Jesus, you're beautiful. I know that your eyes are like flames of fire. Let your hair is fire as well. Just put it right there. Let your voice sounds like water. Jesus, you're beautiful. I see a missionary anointing. Keep singing. Fill them, fill this generation through fire. supposed to do ah hallelujah let's have Jean-Luc and Haley and Jess we all need to pray for these young people ushers will need some organization this is wonderful oh Jesus As the deer, David, as the deer. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul longeth after thee alone. You singing David we're going to move each group to the exterior wall so you guys move that way try to Michelle and the team actually go line up this group will go this way down that aisle around the back everyone 25 and under you're going to lie do not lie do not lie right now it would be a big mistake do not lie go around the back and you're going to line up on that wall if you're on this side, go. To keep singing, keep singing, keep singing. As the deer. As the deer. Let's help them up and put them on the front row, guys. Let's give them mercy. Water so help them up. Two people on each person. Two people with each person. Daniel Williams, come up, please. You alone. You This group, start moving that way down that aisle. Help me, guys. Move them all around. Chris, oh, you're gonna help me. All my strength, my shield to you alone. Twenty-five and under on that wall. Line up. Choir, help me. You have a team, babe? Keep singing. 
keep them there for a moment, Carla. Then get your team ready. You, Jean-Luc, Chris, and Haley will lay hands on them. Is that okay? You need catchers. Yeah, two and two. Guys, let me tell you right now, God is marking this generation. I said God is marking this generation. And all you have to do tonight is worship. Just worship. Haley, stand next to Jesse. It's basically a small fire tunnel. Uh, one second, one second. Don't go ahead. S lift that up, David. Sing that again. Can you play? Emma, play. Let them come. Lay hands on them, guys. Father, let the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon these young people. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon them. Touch them, Father, I pray in Jesus' name. down a little but babe you got to stay over here with them fill them Lord fill them tonight. you alone are my strength my shield Intercessors, prayer team, I want you praying for them, intercede for them. them down a little. It's a little fast. To be sensitive to the Lord. Slow down a little. slower. You have to yield to the Lord. Yield to the Lord. He's a wind. He's like a wind. He's like a river. Keep worshiping. As the panted for the water so so be ready, catchers. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. You alone are my heart's desire. Young people, you come up hungry and in faith, expecting to receive, expecting to receive. On your way up, ask the Lord, Lord, touch me, touch me. Don't go through the motions. Sit here. Sit here. 
members of the production team are coming through and the Lord's touching them. Don't stop singing. Take your time, guys. We're not going anywhere. Where else would you want to be? Where else would you rather be? Oh, fill them, fill them, fill them. Help me know you are here. Draw me close. Five and under. Help me know you are Thank you, Jesus. Draw me close to you. Never let me go. I lay it all down.
singing that's beautiful you're all I want help me know you are near we sing it all sing you're all I want you're all we ever need you're This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Sweet girl. Your holy presence living. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. Touch the Your very word. Intercessors, keep praying if you're on that intercessory team. Spoken.
I'll see what I'm seeing. We cry, come, Lord Jesus, come. The Spirit and the bright say, Root of Jesse, eternal Son. My 
wounded Savior, majesty, gentle shepherd, my friends of peace, risen wonder, Lord of life, resurrected Christ. My heart is longing for my love. My heart is longing for my love. Come. Through the root of Jesse.
I'm asking every head bowed and eye closed just for a moment. Listen to me. Listen to me. Just bring those keys down just a little, please. I want you to hear the word of the Lord. Nights like this, they don't just happen every week, everywhere. This is the worst time to live a lukewarm, half in, half out, secret sin life. Listen to me. The Bible says he who sins is a slave to sin. A slave. Jesus came to the earth, bled and died. Listen carefully to me. This is heaven's song, the gospel. He bled and died, nailed to a tree. That's the perfect sacrifice, the perfect offering, the perfect Son of God nailed to a tree. Because Adam chose another tree, he lost everything. Jesus chose the tree to regain everything. And he bled and died. And even while I'm talking, listen, the altar is open right now. You know you need to be fully in and give Jesus your entire life and don't hold on to it anymore. You get down here now. You don't need to wait for me to finish. Not in this type of atmosphere. You come to Jesus. You come to Jesus, refuse this lukewarm, ridiculous religious thing that the world calls Christianity. It is just not. It is not. It is not Christianity. It is not Christianity. It is not love. It is not why Jesus bled and died. Look at these young people. Let them through. Let them through. Let them through. He was buried in the ground and buried in the tomb to take your burial. As the holy seed who would break the ground three days later. Friend, listen to me. It was said of the early church, they would say this, we are the church. We are those who laugh at death. Christians don't die. They sleep. Death is for the world. Death is for the unbeliever. Jesus destroyed death and with death, he has conquered death. And as the early church said, and to those in the tombs, he has given life. This holy son of God steps in to our tomb as the eternal and holy Sabbath. And three days later, listen very carefully, after destroying the ancient gates in Psalm 24, open up the everlasting doors. Mm so that the King of glory might come in. And he who descended, ascended, the Bible says that Jesus descended and made a spectacle of the devil, and every demon, and through the cross of Christ embarrassed them. And three days later, he broke the tomb wide open in his perfection because the ground could not hold him. He could not return to dust because he is not merely dust. He's the Holy One. You see, and it's the soul that sins, that dies in Jesus. Jesus, no friends, he's perfect. He lived a perfect life, declared as being the perfect righteous one as he broke forth from the grave. You say, why is that important? Because one day, listen to me, one day you will close your eyes. It may seem afar off, but tomorrow is promised to nobody. As Reinhard Bunke used to say, eternity is not in front of us. It runs parallel with us. It could happen at any moment, at any time. And the only thing that will matter in that moment is this. Do you belong to Jesus? That's it. I'm speaking to you in the balcony. Everyone down. You just come. Yeah, let them through. Let them through. You know you need to get down here tonight. You come down and receive Jesus. If you've fallen away from the Lord and you're not walking with Him anymore, you might be a pastor and your heart burns for the church, your church, I should say, more than it does for Jesus. You get down here. 
You might be a youth pastor. Many of you are falling away from the gospel. I feel to say this. There are pastors falling away from the gospel because they will not stand on the truth of the scripture. You are playing with your eternity. And if you're in the room tonight, you get down here in the holy presence of God and come give your life to the one who saved you and bled and died for you and has trusted you with his gospel. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you for every person, Lord. Oh, we love you. We love you. Unless you're on your knees or on your face, I'm going to ask everybody in the house to stand. This is a very holy time. I'm telling you, I feel the river of God just drawing people to the foot of the cross. Friend, listen to me. I, I don't need to feel better about myself by getting more people to the altar. I, that's not what does it for me. It's the Lord himself. But I feel in my spirit that there are people here resisting a full surrender to Jesus. Come down tonight. Come down tonight. I, was, I walked into this building in 1989. For those of you who don't know, my father-in-law, Pastor Benny, built this building. I got saved right there, right where, right where this lady is in the, in the yellow shirt, right there. That's where I got born again. And right there by the cross is where I got healed from an incurable sickness, right here, right here in 1989. My greatest fear was public speaking. And look what the Lord has done. I'm here to tell you, don't hold on. Do not hold on to your life. If you hold on to your life, you will lose your life, Jesus said. If you lose your life, you will gain it. Let go, let go tonight and come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait on you from the balcony. Come. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Chris, come. I'm going to have you lead them to the Lord. Jean-Luc, I'm going to ask you to pray that the Holy Spirit would empower them. Would you both come up? May I have a mic for both of them, please? This is wonderful. Come, come, man, come. Lead them to Jesus. There are some here that this is like a fresh start, total surrender. And this is some for you. This is the very first time you're making this commitment. Whoever you are, the spirit of the Lord wants to set you on fire. And I want to say this before we even pray that the blood that was shed over 2,000 years ago as Jesus Christ hung on that bloody cross and he looked into the future, into this present moment, into this present hour, his blood has never dried up. That means when you put your faith in him and you surrender your life to him, that blood that was shed over 2,000 years ago has never dried up. It has the power to cleanse all sins, not just some sins, but all sins. And there was a conviction that God wants to place in hearts tonight that you fully belong to him. So as we pray this, it's just not a prayer to pray. It is a prayer from conviction. It's a prayer of belief. It's a prayer of repentance and putting faith in Jesus Christ, the one who died and rose again. So I want you to pray this from your heart. Jesus, I'm all in. I receive you as my savior. I receive you as my healer and I receive you as my deliverer and I renounce any other spirit that I've invited in my life from my past and I command you to leave me right now Holy Spirit fill me and Jesus just as you've forgiven me 
I forgive others that has done me wrong. Now, right now, the Holy Spirit is going to begin to show you some people that you need to forgive. Some of you have been bound by bitterness. And right now, the Holy Spirit is just going to begin to show you individuals that you need to forgive. And I want you to say this, Jesus, I forgive them. I want you to name their name. There's multiple names coming to some of you right now. Just say this, for everything they've done to me and everything they haven't done for me, and I break the chains of unforgiveness and torment. Thank you for your blood. Just as you've forgiven me, I forgive them. You are my savior. You are my healer. You are my deliverer. And I put my faith to you. Right now, the Spirit of God is releasing the repentance that brings a heart change, a mind change, a purpose change, and a direction change right now. Jean-Luc, go ahead. Lord God, uh, I pray that you can fill them all with your presence and this wonderful Holy Spirit. But I want to pray also as I'm standing here in this holy ground, like you did for me exactly on the same place, on the same stage, 30 years ago, the 4th November 1990. You filled me up with your glory that changed my life. And that was the Holy Spirit coming upon my life. I pray, Lord God, that you can do the same, not only for those who are on the altar, yes, but Lord. all on this room, yes. those who are watching at home. Come, Holy Spirit, upon us and bring the glory of heaven to our life. Fill us up with your glory and your presence right now in Jesus' name. You standing in your seats, you can sit for a moment. Haley, come. Just release what the Lord gives you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, we do just as Jean-Luc prayed right now. God, we ask for a fresh baptism of your Holy Spirit. Just where you are, just raise your hands. Holy Spirit, I pray right now, all across this room, that you would baptize us afresh in the power of your Spirit. That you would awaken us, your bride, to the reality of the cross, the resurrection, and the powerful ascension yes. to the glorified Jesus who is seated high above Amen. every name, Amen. every Amen. principality, every ruler. There is no equal to him. Holy Spirit, would you come and reveal the glorious, beautiful Jesus to your church so that we might know him? Spirit of the living God, would you fall afresh on your people today? Would a holy fire come and, and consume? every person in this room God we want to be consumed with one thing and it is the beauty and the majesty the power and the glory the dominion and the authority of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords Holy Spirit would you glorify Jesus today the name above every name and that name every knee will bow every tongue will confess God would you possess us with a passion for one name and one name alone Holy Spirit, we are not satisfied. We are not satisfied with a portion of our inheritance, God. Lord, would you grip us, God, with a holy desire for all that Jesus paid for so that He might get His reward for His suffering. God, would you possess us, God, with a cry that the Moravian brothers prayed. May the Lamb who was slain receive Amen. the reward for His Amen. suffering. And may we live before Amen. one thing and one thing alone, the cross and the empty grave. Amen. Right now, today, the fear of man has got to bow in the name of Jesus. We reject the fear of man as a source, as a limiter and as authority in our life. And God, I ask for a holy fear of the Lord. I ask for the fear of the Lord to grip your bride again. 
I ask God for the fear of the Lord. Yes. God, we don't just want to know your goodness, we want to know your power. We want to know your mercy and we want to know your strength. We want to know your tenderness and we want to know your omnipotence. We want to know your friendship, but more than anything, God, we have to know your Lordship. And so, God, we come down low. We come down low. And we yield. We yield ourselves to you. God, we know that beautiful things come for those who love you, but God, we're not in it for the things that come. We're in it for one thing. You are the most beautiful, the most wonderful, the most glorious. King of glory, our eyes can ever lay upon. God, we repent and we've made it about other things, Lord. We're deeply sorry, God, that we've made it about other things. The Lord is bringing His church back to the place of humility. Jesus went lower than any of us have ever gone. Jesus went lower than any human has ever gone. And He is the King and He went low. And so God, we, empowered by Your precious Spirit, we yield to go low. What would we do without Your Spirit? What would we do? Where would we be without the beautiful, wonderful Spirit of God? Oh, teach us to cooperate with you, Holy Spirit, so that we might know our beloved King. For who knows the mind of God but His Spirit? Oh, when your church could possess the Spirit, how can it be that you chose to be your dwelling place? So make us holy, God. Make us holy like you are holy, God. Consecrate your bride tonight, God. Thank you, Lord. Here, uh, you heard Jean Luc 30 years ago, Jean Luc? How many years ago? 30, 34, 34 years ago, the Lord, I was here in the building. I was a little boy, 12 years old, maybe 13, and my father in law walked off the platform, and I remember sitting right back there. And He came back on the platform and said, the Lord just told me there's someone from Switzerland that the Lord wants to touch. And uh, Jean-Luc and his family were visiting to all of our shock. And the Lord touched him. Now he has a phenomenal ministry in Europe. He said, dear friend, I just feel like this is the perfect time to take communion and miracles will happen. Miracles will happen. Can we please begin to serve the people the elements if they don't already have it? How many of you do not have the elements? Jean-Luc, stay, stay. Haley, stay. Chris, stay. Jess, come. Babe, come. May I have a pulpit, please? Isn't this wonderful? You know, the same day the Lord, thank you, Daniel, began moving up in Kentucky. He, as you know, fell. His power fell at Jesus School. And I thought we were yielded. But how many of you know there's always more? There's a bigger yes. We burned the playbook. The church must learn how to be in the presence of God. 
Does anyone else need the elements? Come close. Let's come close. Does anyone else need the elements? Okay, I think we've all been served. Just sit there in the presence of the Lord. I want you to hear what the scriptures teach. Before I share these scriptures with you, I'm not going to preach, but the scripture teaches for sure that the world is blind. We're all blinded to the Lord. Blinded by the prince and power, the God of this world. But even us who come into the kingdom still see through a, a glass darkly and dimly. How many of you want the eyes of your heart to be open to see Jesus, to behold Jesus? Isn't he wonderful? And the Bible promises that the pure in heart shall see the Lord. This is the Lord speaking in the Beatitudes, this instituting the constitution of the kingdom, the higher law, teaching from the mountain as the last and final lawgiver, Jesus himself. The kingdom was, is, and is to come. It must always be. The kingdom heals our past. The kingdom moves through us and in the church today. And there's a kingdom to come. Thank you, Lord. I said, thank you, Lord. We'll get new bodies so that we can be with him forever. So this promise of beholding the Lord to the pure in heart is for now. And it is also for the aids to come. The question is, how do my eyes go from being dim to allowing him to open my eyes that I might see him? Because the Bible says, they looked upon him, the psalmist wrote, and were radiant. The scripture says, I'm just going to read you the word and let the word of God minister to you. Behold, two of them were traveling. On, this is the road to Emmaus. The same day to a village called Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem. They talked together of all these things which had happened, speaking of Jesus' passion. So it was while they talked or conversed and reasoned that Jesus himself drew near. Do you know he listens to every conversation? Do you know your conversations will either draw him or reject him? Has he who planted the ear, the Bible says, can he not hear you? Has he who formed the eye, can he not see you? He sees and hears everything we say. But their eyes were restrained, so they did not know him. And he said to them, what kind of conversation is this that you have with one another as you walk and are sad? How many of you believe Jesus did not know the answer to that question? When the Lord asks us a question, it's never because he doesn't know. Then the one whose name was Cleopas answered and said to him, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? <laughs> He's saying that to the king of Jerusalem, the creator. And have you not known the things which happened these days? And he, Jesus, said to them, what things? They're saying, have you not heard of the suffering and death of Jesus? And he says, what things? Hey, what a bridegroom. So they said to him, the things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and crucified him, but we were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. I've said this many times, until the Holy Spirit fills you and opens your eyes, we can be so pompous to ask the Lord when he appears to us, if he has ever heard of himself. They're saying, haven't you heard of Jesus and what happened? Say, I need you, Holy Spirit. 
Indeed, beside all this, today is the third day since these things happened. Yes, and certain women of our company who arrived at the tomb early astonished us. When they did not find his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. And certain of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. Now listen to the Lord. O oh, foolish ones, he said to them, O oh, foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe, and all the prophets have spoken. Ought not the Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And beginning, this is what I want you to see, and beginning at Moses, And all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew near to the village. So let me just stop here for a moment because you need to know what's happening right now. For you pastors, I want you to get this. You Bible teachers, ministry school leaders, evangelists, missionaries. I know many of you are visiting from around the world. Our job is to see the eyes of the world and the church open to the beauty of Jesus. And Jesus teaches us how. Number one, he opens the scriptures. Specifically in this context, he begins with Moses. He begins with Genesis. Anybody who tells you the Old Testament is law and that it was for another day is disagreeing with the way Jesus would host a Bible study. He begins with the scriptures and starts with Calvary. Ought not the Christ to have suffered and then entered into his glory? Jesus' starting point is the cross. He doesn't eventually get there. He doesn't work his way toward the cross. Jesus begins with his suffering, his passion, and his resurrection. That is the gospel. He then to save time, he tells them, I'm going to go on after he teaches them the scriptures. He says, it's getting dark. How many of you think Jesus is afraid of the dark? That's not what's going on there. It's a, another question. It's another invitation to intimacy with God. He's saying, I'm going to move on. He's waiting to be constrained. And the Bible says they did constrain him and he stayed. And we can do that right now. The Lord has moved powerfully, but we can say right now, Lord, stay with us. Oh, stay with us. Stay with us. You say he's always with us. I know. I understand. But as my friend Michael Miller says, he who dwells everywhere longs to manifest somewhere. And then he went into their house with him and he took bread and blessed it. Let's open this. And the Bible says when he blessed the bread, their eyes opened and then he disappeared. <laughs> Just when they could see him. Why? Why did he disappear then? Well, is it possible that he wants us to behold him in the body and blood and in the bread and wine? Is he trying to open our eyes to his beauty through the scriptures, through the sacrament? of communion, I think so. And then they were left with this statement. We should have known that was Jesus. And here's why. Did our hearts not burn within us when he taught us the scriptures? And that's what we want. Burning hearts and opened eyes. Open our eyes tonight, Holy Lord. Set our hearts on fire. What an honor to be here with John Luke and Haley and Chris, all these memories here. Thank you for what you've done. And thank you for what you will do, even greater things. Now, Father, we repent. We ask you to forgive our sin and cleanse us, keep us. Forgive our twisted motives, the things we do, the things we say. We bring it to you now. We ask you to wash us and cleanse us, Holy Lord. You said if we would confess our sin, that you're faithful and just to forgive us our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Forgive us and cleanse us now.
Can we close our eyes and lift, lift the body? Precious Lord, thank you for your body that was broken. It was torn and beaten. Oh, the beauty of Jesus. We lift this because you were lifted on the tree. And you told us to do this often in remembrance of you, that every time we do, we declare your death. And we declare tonight that Jesus Christ hath destroyed death with the death and resurrection. And we break the bread tonight because your body was torn. And as we receive the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the covenant of healing that there were none feeble among Israel when they left Egypt and ate of the covenant meal. Heal our bodies, heal our minds, heal our children, heal our hearts, heal our memories. Let a wave of healing move through your church right now and through the hearts and bodies of those people and the minds of those watching. We receive the precious body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Why don't you lead us in the blood, Jean-Luc? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But you have what you've done on this cross. You accept by going by your own will to die for us. And you pour out your blood that tonight we can remember what you have done for us. Thank you, Jesus, for Thank this you. blood. Thank there is power in this blood. Thank and as we are going to take this blood, we do believe that your power will invade our weakness, will yes. invade our body, will invade the body of Christ as well Amen. to bring life. And tonight, I do believe as you will take the cup, it will be like a point of contact for your physical healing. Yes, Lord. Because through the stripes of Jesus, there is healing on this place tonight. And that's for in the name of Jesus, we break every sickness, every disease, and we welcome by faith our healing for our spirit, soul, Amen. but also for our body. Amen. As you take this blood, many are going to get healed right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's receive. At the cross, at the cross. David, would you lead us? Thank you, Lord. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw love and the burdens of rolled away it was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day lift it again at the cross at the cross at the cross where I first and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my son. And now I am Lift it again. Just lift it a little bit. Choir, thank you for serving like this. Lift it one more time. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. softly keep keep playing if you're sick in your body and need the Lord to touch you would you stand
And if you're near them in just a moment, we're going to ask you to put your hand there on their shoulder. Two people maybe for each person. And we're all going to come into agreement in faith that the Lord will touch you. And that this meal of Holy Communion unlocks the covenant promises as the scriptures teach. Those promises are for our healing. If you need a healing in your body, would you just lift your hands? Praise you. If you're near them, I'm going to ask that you just put your hand there on, on them. Don't start praying yet. Don't start praying yet. I just want you to look at that person next to you now and tell them what you're suffering with. Not a full testimony, just tell them. Now we're all going to begin praying. And if you are praying for that person, I just want you to name what they have and command it to go and use the word of God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come into agreement. We thank you for the power of the stripes of Jesus. By his stripes, you are healed. As many as touched him were made whole. Jesus went about doing good, healing all who were sick and oppressed, destroying the works of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every sickness go, every pain go in Jesus' name. All shoulder pain, leg pain, back pain, growth, cysts, tumors, vision, behold in Jesus' name. Insomnia, behold. Um, so I just got a picture of two things. Just keep ministering to the Lord. Um, ulcers in the stomach. I don't know if there's anyone in the room that has ulcers in the stomach, but Lord, we just come against those ulcers, Lord, right now. We command them to dissolve right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Every bit go. Also, um, extreme heartache. There's someone that I don't know if there was a death in the family years ago or but something you went through, something traumatic. It was maybe 15 plus years ago, but you've never been able to fully surrender and give it to Jesus. And the Lord's going to heal your heart right now. And you might be watching online, but if you're in the room or watching online and you've been carrying this burden that's meant to be carried by Jesus, He wants you to give that burden to Him tonight. So Lord, we thank you, Jesus, for healing that trauma in the heart in Jesus name that trauma in the mind God that trauma Lord we command it to go Lord you are the healer Lord you heal our emotions you heal our physical body you heal our hearts Lord so we thank you God that all that pain will go Lord I thank you God that you're filling them right now with your presence Jesus I thank you God for joy unspeakable joy Lord peace that surpasses all understanding Lord I thank you God that the peace that they can't even understand Lord that you're giving it to them right now in Jesus name fear of marriage go in Jesus name there's people that you're afraid of marriage because you've seen marriage is not succeeding you have a fear of marriage I command that to go right now in Jesus name Jesus you are the perfect picture of marriage so let your children see what a perfect husband is Lord what a perfect wife is Lord we thank you God Lord restore that Lord in Jesus name that fear of commitment Lord that fear of failure Lord let it go right now in Jesus name 
We thank you, God, for complete surrender, Lord. Fibromyalgia, go right now in Jesus' name. I command it to go. Arthritis in the joints, go right now in Jesus' name. Ear issues, go right now in Jesus' name. Let those ears open up and hear clearly right now in Jesus' name. I thank you. Ringing of the ears, go right now in Jesus' name. Blurry vision, go right now in Jesus' name. Leg pain, go right now in the name of Jesus. Cross eyes, go right now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father. You are the Lord that heals. It doesn't matter if we're calling your sickness out or not. Jesus is coming to heal you right now. Heart issues, go. Valve issues, be healed right now in Jesus' name. Again, joints in the bones and the feet, go. Healing power right now, let it flow. Knee pain, go. Swelling, swelling in the knees, go right now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father. Again, an ear condition is being healed. I thank you, Father, for these ears, Lord, hearing, perfect hearing in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father. Thank you. There's someone that has issues with your nails. You have brittle, weak nails, and you've always had this issue with your nails. Lord, heal those nails. There's nothing too small for you, Jesus. There's nothing too small. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Back issues, go. Vertebrae, straighten up right now in Jesus' name. Cancer, go in the name of Jesus. All cancer, go in Jesus' name. All gross, disappear, shrivel up and die right now in Jesus' name. All tumors dissolve in the name of Jesus. Jesus is the name above cancer. Jesus is the name above cancer. I thank you, Lord, that it will bow its knee right now to the name of Jesus. Blood conditions, go. IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, gut issues, go right now in Jesus' name. Chronic issues, go right now in Jesus' name. Colitis, go right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Hormone issues, go right now. Infertility issues, go right now in Jesus' name. Your word says we will be fruitful and multiply, God, and we hold on to those promises. We thank you, Father. Open up those wombs tonight in Jesus' name. Open up those barren wombs tonight in Jesus' name. We thank you, God. We thank you for the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Since the beginning of the, the evening, I know there is somebody just there who has a trouble with the brain. And I think it's a brain tumor that the Lord will just destroy right now under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Uh, who is this person just there on my right side? All the evening, I saw the light just there. And the Lord wants to touch is there this brain things. on this side or up on the balcony on that side that has a cyst or a growth on the brain or anything? Is there anyone in this section? Anyone? Okay, yeah, no. Oh, back there. In Jesus' name. And someone in the balcony too up there. In Jesus' name. Just gather around them. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your power. Thanks for the light who is here. Let's bring the miracle right now. In Jesus' name, we do believe that you will restore this brain. I command this tumor to disappear in Jesus' name. And we release the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. There is one of them who you have touch the, the, the things has touched your capacity to to walk properly with your brain the Lord is restoring Amen. that right now memory is coming back in Jesus name the capacity to concentrate to do the things that you couldn't do during the last months is coming Amen. back stronger than you had before right now be healed in Jesus name and one more thing Michael I do believe more than ever in this season there is a power for the creative miracles if you need the creative miracles just 
touch the kingdom of heaven which is not made of words but of a demonstration of power so right now Lord we do believe Amen. we have faith for the impossible to become possible and you are the one who created the earth and tonight we declare new kidney new heart new bones new nerves new ligaments in jesus name what doesn't exist may it happen right now in jesus name we release this creative power over your life for brand new organs in jesus name right now the lord is recreating a kneecap so receive your healing but this miracle it's a creative miracle receive it in jesus name I want everyone who received prayer, or maybe you didn't, and the Lord just is that good that He touched you. I want you to begin checking right now and testing your body right now. Everyone, do it quickly. I don't want you to look for your pain. I want you to look for the Lord's healing touch. Begin to test your body, check if there was a growth, whatever that was. If you were in pain, begin to test out your body. And then once you feel the Lord has touched your body, you say, I, I, even if you're not completely healed, but you feel a significant amount better, I want you to lift your hand all over this place. Thank you, Lord. If the Lord, thank you, Jesus. Now listen, listen, listen. If the Lord has healed you, if you, you feel the Lord has touched your physical body, or even, listen, even your mind. I've seen that happen so many times with the Lord. People live under an oppression. They, uh, what did Reinhardt used to call it? A chain on the brain. You felt the Lord touch you in that way or your physical body? I want you to stand up. Stand up to your feet right now. Stand up. Thank you, Father. Stand, look at all of them in the balcony. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Look. We're going to take some testimonies. Amen? Uh, okay. I'm going to need at least two, three. Uh, you ready, buddy? Come on, Tuck. Get out there. Hey, pick, pick solid people. Okay. Go ahead. You have to have discernment. He goes, who do you want? <laughs> uh, go ahead, Ryan. Choir, you can go sit and go in the jacuzzi. Uh, go, thank you. Can we thank the choir? I'm so, oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm, I owe you. I will find a way to do something. Y'all can go. Y'all can go. I want to take testimonies. Come on, I want to hear. What happened? So, <laughs> I knew if I came tonight, I'd get healed. I've been having terrible numbness in my hands, arthritis all over, can't pain everywhere. For how long? Oh, a long time. But the numbness like has gotten. Like a year. Gotten, yes, but okay. the numbness has gotten daily worse and worse where I can't sleep at night and everything and it's going I feel it it's going it's going it's better it's what, better. what do you feel on you I'm feeling like my everything's waking up when did that happen tonight at what point in the meeting when she prayed for you yes <laughs> Sorry. where are you from um, uh, west of Jacksonville west of Jacksonville thank you Jesus <laughs> thank you Lord Keep going, guys. Keep this flow. <laughs> Who do I look at? Tuck? Um, Don't call him that. <laughs> what happened? Um, the Lord, I, I felt the Lord like heal my knee. Like what, I felt warmth. Um, what happened to your knee? Playing basketball with the guys. Um, <laughs> my knee just popped and it went a different way. What happened tonight? I just felt warmth. I've been feeling, I've been, I've been wanting like, healing for like a month and I've been getting disappointed I'm like come on Lord you can I know you can do it um <laughs> Sherry's grateful for your encouragement <laughs> <laughs> um but tonight I, tonight I didn't like I just kind of let it go and James prayed for me and I just felt warmth um are I, you in I, pain still I no I felt pain pain and inflammation I did, I wanted to do choir tonight but I can't like my knee hurt too much. Because you couldn't stand that long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yes, but but I feel it feels good. It feels when great. did it happen during communion or after? Uh, when, when we all prayed? when they were praying for me. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can we can we send uh, send some send somebody up? Hey, David, why don't you get up to the? Uh, no, David, I need you there. Yeah, Jose, go up to the balcony. Don't. Yeah, go up to the balcony. Isn't this wonderful? All right, who else we got? Who's out? Who else is out there? Ryan, go ahead. Um, I've What's had your name? A, Jameson. And where are you from? I'm from St. Augustine. And what happened tonight? I've had a sinus infection in my face, and it's made my ear plugged. I couldn't hear for the last couple of days. I wow. just started talking about hearing clearly, and it felt like a pop, and wow. it hurt almost. And now I can hear. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Where are you at, Todd? Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, hold on, Todd. Uh, Haley, go ahead. There's one there. Yeah. If, if you need healing in your ear right now, just... Put your hands out in front of you. God's opening up ears. You can, I just felt it right before Jess that God's opening up ears. So God, we thank you right now for that testimony. We thank you, Lord, that if you've done it before, you're gonna do it again. And so we just declare right now in the name of Jesus, ears be open right now. Deafness, go. Sinus infection, go. Any, any unplugs in the eustachian tubes right now to go. Any eustachian tube dysfunction, any TMJ, God, right now in Jesus' Amen. name. Open up, open up, open up. Y'all go lay hands on Ryan. Is he, where is he on the ground? Oh, thank Praise you, Jesus. Me. Ryan's been having ringing in the ears. Yes, all ringing, oh, wow. go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Even right now. And as we're here celebrating what the Lord is doing, what happens every night is that the Lord starts touching others. So if you didn't, if you didn't feel that the Lord healed you on that first prayer, begin to move by faith. Just begin to do something. You don't have to beg. You don't have to do anything. And more, as, you, as the Lord heals you, I want you to stand to your feet. Thank you, Lord. Where are you at, Tuck? Let me hear what happened here congestion and in my nose too and I just know that I was going to get healed and I can breathe fine I'm not congested at all so thank you Jesus Amen. <laughs> Jose where are you Jose yeah what happened years ago I was diagnosed with a small brain tumor Wow. and um, And the doctors have said that they would just watch it and see what's going on with it. But tonight he pointed and I was hesitant, but I raised my hand and there was prayer and there was a warmth in the back of my head all the way down to my neck. Thank you, Father. And I'm believing I'm healed. Now, Lord, Lord, we thank you. Wait one second, I want to pray. I want to pray. One moment, one moment. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for touching him and healing his brain. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's stick with the balcony for a little while, Jose, because they get left out so much. Sorry. Yes, my brother had a stroke in uh, 2019. Can we put her on the center screen? Is that possible, guys? There you go. Yes. What's your name? Um, I'm Mary Turner from Virginia. <laughs> and my brother John had a stroke in 2019. And I did a couple years of his caregiving. And in August, he went into a nursing rehabilitation center for more aggressive therapy. But they haven't been doing what they What happened to you tonight? So tonight, I was standing in proxy for John when our brother began to prophesy that there was someone that had a trauma on the left side of their brain and that they couldn't walk on the left side. And that, that's the healing that my brother John's getting tonight. We've been crying Father, out to God for. Father, thank you for, for touching John Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for doing that. Go on, next. I want you to, I only want you standing if you know the Lord has healed you. 
And I totally appreciate that. And I believe in the Lord will touch John. I actually saw somebody in this room in like 1991 stand in proxy for somebody who got radically healed. So I have a high value for that. Jose, give me one more. Um, tonight, my eyes have been like under attack because of everything growing in Florida. Um, but, but now like it's, it's, it's gone away. They were praying over me here, several people, and I just I felt the felt the Lord like take away the the irritation and the and the sensitivity, and I can breathe. And so, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. One, hey, go, go. Uh, one more up there, Jose. How y'all doing today? My name's Josh. Oh. Where are you from, Josh? Um, I'm from Maryland. Okay, what happened um, tonight? Um, when I came in here today, my whole body was heavy. I didn't even want to come, honestly. Like, my back, my lower legs was hurting. Like, everything was hurting. Today, we took communion. I felt good. I started praying. I really felt the Spirit today. And I actually cried. And I actually felt the Holy Spirit. And now, I literally feel like I'm 20 pounds lighter. Like... <laughs> Go, go quick, go quick for one more. Yeah, go quick, yeah. What happened to you? What's your name? Uh, Oscar. What happened, Oscar? Um, you guys prayed for ulcerative colitis. And what and, happened to you uh, tonight? Just all the inflammation, my stomach was just bloated and it just started feeling like it was going down. My, I felt strength, strengthening of my Did colon. Do you feel like the power of God come on your stomach? Yes, yeah, it just And all the different. inflammation went down? I've been prayed a lot of times and this was very very real <laughs> so very real I'm, and I'm really, what what difference do you feel in your body um no urgency right now uh -huh. usually i have that a sense of urgency to go uh -huh. <laughs> so i don't know i just feel thank you lord yeah god is good yeah. thank you, lord. one more you pick them you pick them i just want to move fast right now because the lord's moving right here yeah yeah her Um, so today I, I suffer from chronic migraines mm -hmm. and today I had a really bad one in the back of my eyes. I tried sleeping it off. I've had I those. couldn't. And, um, when everybody was praying, like I, nobody laid hands on me, but someone just came right behind me and started praying. And what do you um, mean? A person or? Yeah. Huh. A person. <laughs> and, um, like I can just, it was stabbing behind my eyes and I could just feel it like clear up and I had it over here and it just, it went away. Thank you, Father. So. Since I was, since I was a little boy, I've suffered with those uh, still to this day when the weather changes in Florida, I'll be, Jess will tell you, I'll be literally in bed for most of the day. And so I have a deep compassion for you. And that is not a small healing. That is wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus healed Peter's mother-in-law of a fever. And he raised the dead. And he does everything in between. And if he'll heal somebody's mother-in-law, he will heal anyone. <laughs> That's my doctrine on that. Go ahead, Jose. What happened to you? <laughs> my name is Lauren. and Where are you I from? Originally Washington State, but I live in St. Pete now. Okay, what and, happened tonight? Um, I just had the sense of the Holy Spirit renewing and restoring the decades that the enemy has stolen through the depression. Wow. That is not what I walk in anymore. What My happened to you better. tonight? What did I, you feel happen? Um, you know, just healing in my throat so I can sing. I was really angry that the enemy was coming against me because I really wanted to sing. <laughs> and um, yeah, just clarity, clarity, mm. peace. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Uh, that's good up there. Let's just pray for a moment. I want to see what the Lord wants to do. Thank you, Lord. Just pray in the spirit. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Lord. Can you just sing in the spirit for a moment? Just 
just about another minute singing this spirit. Yeah. Okay. What I'd like to do is clear the altar, please. Just if you could go back to your seats if you've come to the altar. When they have uh, I literally forgot this morning to receive the offering until the very end, so you don't get to call me a money preacher. I actually forgot the offering. Uh, but tonight we're going to give. And uh, then what I'm going to do is have the entire team, our prayer team, uh, line up, and they're going to serve you in prayer. You, we have plenty of time. So I just want everyone, nobody moving, nobody going out. Just stay where you, unless you're leaving the altar. Uh, we, we could put the info up, please. It's an honor to give to Jesus. I said it's an honor to give to the Lord. We give to the Lord because the Lord himself is generous, and it's a matter of his nature. And if we call ourselves his children, we should be generous. He gave his only son. He's given us the Holy Spirit and then reveals himself to us time and time again. He is generosity, the Lord Jesus himself. So I'd like to put the buckets up. If you'd like to give by check or cash and you need an envelope, would you raise your hand? Okay. We've got a few people who need envelopes. If you're writing out a check, you'd make it out to Jesus' image. And if you'd like to give electronically, you can just text give or scan that QR code. to that. You can text give to that number on your screen. Isn't the Lord wonderful? Isn't he wonderful? Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for all you're doing and all you've done. Thank you, Father, for this offering. Take it and glorify the name of Jesus around the world. We thank you for our building in Jesus' name. We thank you for being able to meet here. We're grateful people. And thank you for the building to come. We break ground this spring, guys. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for all you'll do. May this be a well of your presence, of salvation and healing to the nations of the world. Now bless your people, I pray. Bless them. Bless every missionary, every pastor, every business person, every mom and dad. Bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, you're welcome to come up. Uh, David, why don't you lead? Is David up here? Why don't you lead something on keys rather than a video? That wouldn't work right now. And once the people are through giving in the buckets, you can then line up if you'd like prayer. We're here to serve you for a while. Did I forget anything? Anything? Okay. Now listen, if, you're, uh, if you did not get healed tonight in your body, uh, I would like to begin with the people who come forward in just a moment. Begin with those who are sick in their body. I want to give them the opportunity to come first. And then what I'd like to do is honor our out-of-town guests. Uh, for us locals, we get to be here every week. But I'd like to honor our out-of-town guests and give them the space to receive prayer after the sick do. Okay? God bless you all. Love you so much. You're welcome to stay and linger in the presence of the Lord. I, I would encourage you to do it.
team up here or if you came for a healing we just invite you to come forward and receive prayer tonight to end service we love you guys so much
Put the oil in my lamp And light the flame again I wanna burn for you So find me ready Find me ready Find me ready Ready for you Find me ready Find me ready Find me ready Ready for you Put the oil in my lips And light the flame again I wanna burn I want to burn for you Put the oil in my lamp And light the flame again I want to burn for you Find me ready Find me ready Find me ready Ready for you Find me ready Find me ready Find me ready Ready for you Find me burning Find me burning Find me burning Burning for you Find me burning Find me burning Find me burning Burning for you
Here we are standing on the exact location where the headquarters for Jesus Image will be. The local church, Jesus School, uh, House of Bethany, all of that will be located right here. In fact, in the exact spot where Jesse and I are standing will be the beautiful pond in front of the sanctuary where we will most likely be holding baptism services occasionally. So we're so excited. We're right here in Seminole County off of Lake Mary Boulevard. We own this land. God owns this land, I should say. And the building will be right behind us. The sanctuary, the admin building, and the prayer house. And so listen, we just wanna say thank you so much. Thank you for standing with us. Thank you for giving. Thank you for praying. Thank you for being so patient and believing with us. We're believing God that the nations will descend on this property, that they will worship Jesus, that the sick will be healed here, that the lost will be saved, that the presence and glory of God will rest here. We want that, we believe this is holy ground and that the tangible glory of Jesus will be right here on this land. And so we wanna invite you to come and invite you to be a part of what God is gonna do here. Yeah, we are just so very thankful for you. Thank you so much for your prayers and your love and support. We are truly blown away with what the Lord is doing and we cannot wait to have you here with us one day. Yeah, and we're really excited about what we're going to show you right now. We're going to take you on a journey and show you the incredible design, detail, and vision of what will take place on this property. Our Jesus Image home will be located in the beautiful Seminole County, right off of Lake Mary Boulevard. This is a thriving area filled with families, restaurants, and the beautiful amenities that this area provides. The vision of this property is simple. We want the presence of Jesus Christ to be known. We have a deep value for experiencing the Lord in His beauty and the majesty of His creation. This facility will host our local church family, Jesus School, which is our discipleship training program. 
yearly conferences, the Bethany House of Prayer, and it will also be an outreach hub for the state and nation. There is vision behind everything. The location of the buildings, the landscaping, the water features, and of course the architectural design of the buildings themselves all speak to the beauty of the Lord. We want all who enter the property to feel as though they've entered into the peace of the presence of God. With all the stress and turmoil that people face on a daily basis, this will be a place of serenity, worship, reflection, and adoration. Rather than this feeling like a headquarters, we want this to be the house of God and a home for His people. You will notice that the structures themselves have a timeless look and design. From the stonework to the stained glass, it will feel like the house of God. The gospel will be declared from every side of the property in multiple different ways. As you pull into the new Jesus Image home, you will discover a massive parking area that will be framed by and filled with beautiful shrubbery and trees. There will be plenty of room for you and your family. A beautiful drive leads you to the sanctuary building. You will enter through a stone archway. Upon the archway, one of the foundational verses for Jesus Image will be inscribed. This verse carries the heartbeat of our lives and the construction of this house. Only one thing is needed, Luke 10, 42. Upon entering the front door to the main building, you will see a massive gathering area. It is a two-story structure. The first level will be filled with life. This will be a place to congregate with friends and family, to get your children checked into children's church, to eat, or simply enjoy a coffee around a beautiful fireplace. The first level will also house the youth room. We have a major focus on seeing this next generation love Jesus. The youth room will seat approximately 500 people. This room will also serve as the second year facility for Jesus School. Our children's rooms will be located on the first level. This will be a convenient experience for children and parents upon their arrival. Our children will receive amazing Bible teaching, a worship experience, and knowledge of the presence of the Holy Spirit for themselves. The second level of the main building will facilitate working spaces for our board of directors, our staff, and interns. This will be a great blessing for us as we move forward in wisdom as a ministry. As you know, God has graced Jesus' image with a massive reach through media. Thousands have come to Jesus, and so many have been healed and set free through our media ministry. We will have our very own production studio where we can create content and continue to stream live to the nations. We will release podcasts, social media content, videos, and much more. Multiplied millions have watched our media content, and we believe our creative team will flourish in this new space as they step out into this vital and anointed calling. As you walk across the main gathering space, you will discover the sanctuary. What an amazing space this will be. While we will have state-of-the-art technology in the sanctuary, the space will take you back in time, a time when churches had a sacred feel to them. You will discover beautiful stained glass behind the platform. Stained glass will line the sides of the sanctuary as well, all telling the gospel story of Jesus. There will be timeless wood beaming and stonework throughout. We long for His presence to fill this place, and it will be a home for you as well. We will seat approximately 1,500 people, yet it will not lose the personal feel that we so deeply value. The platform will be spacious with plenty of room for ministry, our worship teams, and of course, a baptismal. You will notice a round stained glass image on the back wall of the sanctuary depicting a dove in fire descending in the room. May the Holy Spirit fill our hearts each time we gather as a church family. The sanctuary space will also serve Jesus School. This will house our hundreds of first-year students as well as our general school sessions. These students will be missionaries to the nations of the world and to their generation. The gospel will be declared from this sanctuary space multiple times per week and people will be raised up from this place to share Jesus with the world. And may millions be saved, healed, and touched by the Holy Spirit. 
Lastly, for our favorite space on the property, the Bethany House of Prayer. This will be the prayer house for Jesus' image. It will be a place for adoration, silent prayer, reflecting upon the scriptures, and worship. You will notice that the house will be built upon a pond. The setting will be quaint and breathtaking. Stone and wood mark the space with warmth and a traditional look that we believe will transcend generations. We believe this will be the hub of the entire property, a place where intimacy with God and pure prayer ascend before Him. It is named Bethany House because Bethany was the place where Jesus was loved deeply. Therefore, He rested there. Mary found the better part, and it is our prayer that all who enter will find Jesus there and fall in love with Him. May Jesus be pleased with all that takes place here. May He be adored and worshiped on this property. May His Word be taught with clarity, boldness, and love. May His gospel flood the nations, and may the generations to come find Him here. Will you stand with us? Will you pray and give toward this vision? Will you give sacrificially for the sake of Jesus and His gospel? Will you be a part of something that will outlive you for the sake of eternity? Thank you. We love you. Jesus is beautiful.